In this video, we're gonna take a look at a blockchain explorer for Zcash blockchain. Now, I've gone ahead and typed in a Google search, Zcash block explorer, and the one we wanna look at is the one that comes up first, which is called Zchain, Zchain block explorer and API. We're gonna talk about the block explorer in this video. We'll talk about the API in the next video. All right, so let's go ahead and click. In the first page we're brought to, we see some statistics here, some high level stuff, and then we see recent blocks, recent transactions, recent accounts that are con actually, these accounts are the ones that are participating in these recent transactions. And then we have some news down here. So a couple things to call out, the chain height, this is 180,000. This is the number of blocks that are currently on the blockchain, on Zcash blockchain. And the price, this is the price per a unit of Zcash. And this is quoted in US dollars. And then we see the total monetary base. So this is the number of Zcash units that are outstanding. Total market cap, this is the number of units outstanding times the price. So this is the value in US dollars of if you took all, if you had all the Zcash units, then this is how much they would be worth. And then here's the number of transactions that it looks like these are the number, total number of transactions. Yeah, all time transaction count. Let's go ahead and take a look at blocks. This is going to allow us to drill in and take a look at all of the blocks that have been occurring going down and we can scroll down and we can look at them. Let's go ahead and just click on the, the last one. Take a look at that. We'll drill in. We see the block number, the hash. We look at the height on the chain, the previous block, and the timestamp, the miner who actually mined the block. So this is the address to that particular miner, the number of transactions that were included in the block. All right, so now let's go take a look at transactions. On the transactions tab, we can see all the transactions listed out. Now, if we notice, here's two, that there were two transactions in that last block and here both of them are listed out. And then we see the block stays the same as we go down until, so we, all these transactions were included in that block and so on. And let's just click one and take a look. We're gonna drill into this transaction and we're gonna see the time that it was received, the block number that it was included in. Oh, don't forget the ID at the top. We can see the outputs are two, the inputs are one. So the inputs are where was this, what's the address that these funds came from. The outputs are where are these funds going. So we had inputs from one address and we had outputs going to two different addresses. These are T addresses. So we can see all that information. All right, two confirmations currently for this particular transaction. And then this is the total transparent value. So this is the two output values added up or also the one, the one input value. Let's take a look at statistics. So here's some more statistics. We've got about 800,000 known accounts on the blockchain. We get a breakdown of the number of shielded transactions that are occurring. And we have total block reward, some other details. I'm gonna let you go on your own to check out these other tabs and we're just going to move on to take a look at this network tab so this is an interesting visualization of the zcash blockchain network around the globe so we just each one of these blue dots represents full node in the network and so we see over here in california we got quite a bit if we look down a little bit a few few nodes in south america one node on an island there down in south africa and Europe seems to be pretty heavy. There's a, quite a bit of lighting up there. One there just in India there. In East Asia, we've got quite a few down in Australia as well. So this is an interesting graphic to kind of show what the network looks like around the, around the world. So we'll go back and then we just have the API, which we're going to cover in the next, in the next video. And we'll click the about and Zcash is beta software. So we, we saw this in a previous video. This is beta software. And then they also have an alternative Zcash Explorer. So what I want to do now is just go ahead and we're going to enter an address and we're going to use our address to take a look at what we did in the previous video. So let's open our Jack's wallet and go get our public address. Click on your Litecoin or click on your Zcash. We are just in our Litecoin wallet. Now this T address, we're not sure if this is the one that actually has funds. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna find one of our one of our addresses that actually has funds. So click display private keys. Give us our warning not to share it. We know that. Click I understand and ready display Zcash keys. So go ahead and observe that there are two Zcash addresses, this T address and this T address that both have funds. 
And then we also have more Zcash addresses down here. So if you're using Jax, you're going to have to stay on top of your addresses, which ones have funds. So I'm going to copy this address of the clipboard. We see we got 0 0.015 Zcash in this account according to Jax. So let's see what the Zchain Block Explorer has to say. So we'll paste it in, click enter, and we get our account here. And then they give us a summary, and then they give us the details about our transactions. So we got first scene, last scene, timestamps. We got the current transparent balance. That is what we expect. The number of transactions that were sent. We have zero. We have not sent from this account. We have total blocks mined, zero. This isn't a mining account. Transactions received, total received. Okay. One transaction. So transparent balance matches, total received. Now this transaction down here, we see the inputs we had, and this actually came from Shapeshift. So we had one, two, and three inputs coming from a Shapeshift transparent address. And it looks like on the output side, this is the this is the piece that came. This is the piece that came came to us, came into our account. So we'll see 0 0.0516, 0 0.05, or 0 0.0156. So this one went out to another account. We can see number of confirmations. This was two days ago, so 611 confirmations. So the block that this was this transaction was included in is now, there are now 611 more blocks on top of that. The fee, that's a very low Zcash fee, and then the total involved transparent value. So that's the sum of the outputs and also the sum of the inputs, they should be equal. Okay, so one more thing I wanna mention, this this is a good summary, it covers a Zchain Block Explorer. The other thing I wanna point out is the link to their Twitter page, which I have pulled up here. It's gonna be Zchain underscore at twitter.com. If you're interested in Zcash or you're interested in the Zchain Block Explorer, this might be a good idea to follow them. They're giving some updates. They don't tweet too often. They just joined in October 2016, so. I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video, subscribe, and support this Deep Lizard channel. Thank you.